Hi, my name's Roy Webster. I'm a water polo player. I'm 27 years of age and uh, gold in Rio is the target. So I'm the youngest of four kids. So basically as soon as I went to high school, um, my sibling, my older siblings were playing this sport called water polo, which I didn't really know too much about. And um, I wanted to be a part of the fun. And so I started playing in, through school. And then I guess I set the target to make the state team. Um, and I just absolutely fell in love with the sport. I wasn't very good. Um, but I knew once I played one game that that was the sport that I, um, I wanted to make the Olympics in. It's a sport that offers fun, fitness, friendships, and a really good way to combine basketball, netball, swimming, bringing it into a playing field where the, obviously the objective is to put the ball in the back of the net. I basically started out just a, a, a normal kid playing sport at a local club and then, you know, grassroots sport. Um, and I missed out on my first ever state team and it, and it broke my heart. And someone once said, what was the turning point in your career? And it was when I was 12 years old and I missed out on the under 14 state team. Um, and my older sister got in. So for me, I promised myself that I would never feel that, that way again and I'd never miss out on another team. And that's kind of what drives me to keep getting better and better and better. It's just been a bull at a gate since then. One thing that Rowie really tracks well with that I haven't seen in any other player present is whether she's playing for Australia with the green and gold cap on or whether she's got the seals cap on, it's the same determination, passion, integrity, desire, the kill to want to do the best she can. You can't pay for someone or train them for it. It's got to come within, come within the heart. We're in the pool every day, some days twice a day. Um, so we do about three or four swim sessions a week. We're in the gym lifting heavy weights three times a week. Um, and then we do about five or six water polo sessions a week as well. So on any given month it's different. We might be playing games um, or just training, but you're looking at about 10 to 12 sessions a week with Sunday off. So it's, it's a pretty full on lifestyle. Certainly I love mentoring the girls. I love to be able to share my knowledge with the junior girls coming up and hopefully they can ask me questions, not be too scared of me. Um, and I just, it's nice to, to watch a career other than your own or your, your direct friends. It's, it's nice to see someone who's come on the, the scene from a very young age and then just build their way up and you see them make their first state team and then you know they might get into the junior national team and then that borderline making the senior team, not in the senior team, and you kind of get to reminisce on your journey and kind of help them out with, with their journey. I know that I'm verting Rowie on these sorts of games, but you know, she's still my teammate and you know, we can still have a, like a laugh and you know, we can still you know, compliment each other during the game. I think that could never be taken away, even though we are versing each other on these sorts of nights. It's challenging to push each other day in, day out, and then get out of the water and say, hey, let's go for coffee, um, when you've either beaten someone or someone's beaten you. So it's a balance, but I think it's, it's a healthy balance. And unfortunately, people have to miss out to keep the talent pool so high. There is no way that we're coming home with anything less than gold. Yeah, it's like, we had that expectation going into London, but I believe I believe it's so much more that we can come away with gold this, this time. We've got a really strong team. You've got to beat the best to be the best, and everything has to go basically perfect on the day when it counts. So we have to have a two-week tournament where we win six games straight and, um, and basically not drop a quarter. It would be a very special moment to put all these memories together, having a gold medal mount gold medal around my neck so you know you do sacrifice or make choices that you know you might miss friends weddings and things like that but um it's all worth it come olympics it's all worth it come those two weeks every four years